OMTD's channels, which hopefully you do, you'll see that we're always the first to bring you the latest innovations in the machine tool world. Uh, subscribe to our channel, bottom left-hand corner, to keep up to date on what's happening with machine tools. Uh, today, we're at Dugard. It's the turn of Schmeck. We're looking at these machines, finding out why, in the last year, Dugard have sold twice as many of these machines as they did in the year leading up to that. We're going to look at some of the reasons why that might be. The first model we're going to look at here in the line of three is the SL2500Y. This is a Y-axis machine. This is a 77 mil bar capacity machine, just over half a meter in turning length. Some of the points that are different on this, what I like, I'm going to press that button there. This has an auto door. Uh, how good is that? means that if you're the operator of the machine, you don't have to keep opening and shutting the door. Uh, it reduces the effort that you're having to make. And of course, this is health and safety compliant as well. If, you, if your arm's there and the door closes, uh, it will not shut. The turret on this machine, another point to point out, 24 point indexing. You can have 24 tools. You can standardize on your tools. Uh, even though it's a single spindle machine, that is still a huge advantage. Y-axis, get this, 200 millimeter Y-axis. Uh, absolutely huge for a machine of this nature. It is a single spindle, but it can come with a twin spindle as well, this machine. Their range of machines is very, very extensive. Just to quickly summarize and finish, we've got a parts catcher. This machine's got a chuck, it's got a tool setting arm, it's got a swarf conveyor, and it is available here from stock. Uh, this one actually has got the fanet control, and I'm just gonna do this here because I do like this as well. Uh, when I used to be an operator, it was always great to be able to move the control close to the working area to see what is happening. Let's move on to the next one. SL1500, this is the next size down. This uh, again is a, this is a mill drill machine. And again, what's good about this machine, it's got a 24 station index or 24 point indexing turret on this as well. They don't see that often on small machines like this. This is, the, this is kind of the next one down. This is a 51 mil bar machine, still has uh, half a meter in the, uh, in the Z on this, still has your parts catcher, your tool set and arm, your swarf conveyor, and the fanet control, which does exactly the same as the last machine. Uh, check out the livery as well. They have changed significantly in the last year. Very, very tidy looking machines. The smallest one that we can see here in this three, and to conclude this piece, is the PL1600M. Um, we again have the fanet control, but this really is just illustrating uh, how you can go from a, a larger machine down to a much smaller version here. This has got a 12 station turret on it, again, mill drill, which is uh, denoted by the PL1600M. Uh, this is also a, a heavy duty casting on this machine and it does come complete with the features that you see as well as a, a drag and drop tail stock on this machine. That's just three machines in the range, but there are dozens, there are dozens within the range. Uh, we've looked at the big SL5500 machine. If you're looking at a range that is extensive, uh, when multi-axis machining or even single axis machining, these machines are available, but they're not just available, they're available in stock here at Dugard. Uh, you need to contact Dugard's uh, via their website at dugard.com.